Quote, killing is my business and business is good. Just 13 years old at the time. In the stall, she violently stabs the young teen in the back. One of the knife wounds showed that the knife like went right through her body. They labeled her the devil's daughter. Hi guys, Teddy Move here, Notorious Crimes. Thanks for the support. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Leave a comment, tell us what you think. And thanks a lot, we really appreciate it. Stay safe. All right, picture it. It's June 7th, 1992. Ragamuffins nightclub, Surrey, England, hells yeah. Couple girls on the dance floor cutting it up. Sounds like a proper night out for the ladies. Couple drinks, maybe a makeout sash, or as you would say, snog sash. I don't know, I've never been to England. One of those girls though on that exact night was 18 year old Katie Ratcliffe. She recently became single, her choice I'm told, and just wanted a night out with friends. The night was amazing, exactly what the girls wanted. When the lights came on and the last call was announced, the girl simply called it quits. A few hugs, a few see you laters, and Katie started walking home. She made it a few blocks. That's it. Her body was discovered the next day. It was a disturbing sight to see. She was stabbed violently 27 times. She was stabbed in, you know, women areas, and it was just a horrific scene for the police. Cops think that this is a no-brainer. They go right into it. Male has to be a male, strong, 30s probably, a dark past, violent tendencies. They said that one of the knife wounds showed that the knife like went right through her body. Like, Jesus Christ, you know? So very violent, so yeah. They had the weapon, it was right there next to the body. They got to work. They hit the streets, they investigated. I mean, not too long now, right? Fast forward two years later, exactly two years later. Sharon Carr is 14 years old and just like all 14 year olds, she's in school learning the normal England school curriculum at Collingwood College Comprehensive in, you guessed it, Surrey, England. Home to Ragamuffins Nightclub. Just wanted to say Ragamuffins again, what a good name, Jesus. I guess she was bored or maybe she hadn't killed anyone in a while and was getting restless. Who knows when you talk about absolute psychos? So in class, she asks a fellow classmate to go to the bathroom with her, which for girls is kind of normal behavior. That girl was Anne Marie Clifford, just 13 years old at the time. In the stall, she violently stabs the young teen in the back. Now, luckily, other students came in and intervened. Sharon was immediately arrested. While at the institute awaiting trial, assuming, right, she's too young to go to like real jail, she tried to strangle two nurses to death. Yeah, yeah. She was found guilty for the stabbing, of course. So she went to an institution for kids for two years. Bullworth Young Offenders to be exact. Now, while she was there, she kept a diary. Super, super disturbing stuff. For instance, and I quote, killing is my business and business is good, end quote. Quote again on another one. I enjoyed putting the blade up her. It made me feel powerful, end quote. Quote, while she was serving her time, she was threatening the people and just an overall problem. Of course she was. Then she started to talk about Katie. She said she loved watching her die. She literally told a staff member that she killed Katie. I mean, this girl is insane. She does not care about anybody. So the staff tells the police she's then arrested for the murder of Katie. 1997, Sharon went to trial. The media was absolutely in a frenzy due to her age, due to the diary, a lot of things was released to the press. They labeled her the devil's daughter. Good. She got 12 years. That's it. Again, a little shocked about that, but 
While she's in jail, she attacks inmates, she attacks guards while she's there. Ugh, this caused her to be moved around a lot because no prison really wanted to deal with her. Again, this is why she's the devil's daughter. She's everything she does is like the devil. Eventually, she went to Broadmoor Hospital and was diagnosed with a schizophrenic disorder. Yeah, you think so? For sure. Now, I'm no doctor, but she's a schizo something. She's now at a woman's prison in London to this day, thank God. She's expected to stay there forever. So she got the 12 years, which for murder, I think is so little time, especially when she stabbed that other girl and stuff like that. So you knew this was gonna be a problem, but through her time in the system, that's it. They just keep giving her more time and hopefully she's there forever. But from further research, there's actually a chance that she could be released in like 15 years from today. But I doubt it. She'll probably like, you know, hurt someone else or ruin it somehow. She is the devil's daughter. I mean, absolutely insane, this chick. For her though, surprisingly, she found love in prison. Who's the lucky guy? A guy named Robbie Lane. He killed his mom by ripping her eyes out. So, match made in heaven. I think a girl like that looks at a guy like that and says, mmm, give me some of that. So that's it. She's in jail now. She's the infamous devil's daughter from Siri, England. I mean, people in the area had no idea that this could even happen. Something this satanic. I mean, it was disturbing. She did have a bad home life, a very bad home life. You can check that if you want, but I don't like giving a way out to these murderers anymore. People have a bad home life. That doesn't mean you do what you did. So you can check out how she grew up if you would like. There is plenty online, but uh, I'm gonna leave this as it is. She's a horrible person. And in my mind, she is the devil's daughter. Thanks for watching. My name's Teddy Mulvey, and this is Notorious Crimes.